That was a great abstract gradient backgrounds in Critter. Well, first thing to do, select the gradient tool because you want to actually fill it with gradients. And then you can see one of the designs I recreated earlier. And go to the tool options and set the shaped option. Also set a gradient. Obviously, you can create your own gradients. You can create, obviously, select one of the gradients that are already added by Critter. Now, once you've actually done that, I say shaped option, none of the others particularly matter. So I'm just going to there, none, just leave it as none. And then what you want is the polygon selection tool. I'm going to be using triangles on this, so I'm just going to quickly just set that. I'm just going to create a triangle each time. I could, of course, create squares, I could create octagons, whatever, but I'm just going to go for a triangle effect. Now, once I've done that, I want to fill it with the gradient. So just go back to the gradient tool, click on the side selection, and then you've got it. It just follows the actual the shape of the selection. So you can create, obviously, very large triangles, very small triangles. You can fill the whole thing with triangles. And I'm just quickly going through it now. So just rapidly go through the whole lot. And then once, you, once you're happy, once you've finished and you've created a very sort of cutting, weird background, filled with gradients, what you can do then is you deselect it. You can go and buy effects, such as maybe like blur or colors, adjust, maybe yeah, HSV, and then just change the hue. Whatever. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.